Good morning people, today we are going to be reviewing this and this is the McAllister MBV 28003 in 1 and we can get this from Screwfix, or this is where we got it from, for $49.99 at the moment and what this does, this sucks, it blows and it mulches so that is why it is a 3 in 1. So that being said, let's uh, get the knife out and open it up. Let's try and unbox this as quick as we can. Cut down there, cut down here, and then down here, just in case you didn't know how to open it up. Bigger than I thought. Let me speed this up, actually. There's a lot less fiddly parts in this box than I thought there was. So, this is everything out. Um, we're just going to go through the instructions to put it together. And the screws that you need are already actually on it. You know, they're just put in position and you have to tighten it up yourself. So, I'm trying to cut make these videos as quick as possible because I always find the start I waffle on too much. So again, I'll speed it up and I'll put it together. That was a lot easier than I expected to put together, to be fair. Uh, the only thing I would say is when you connect the tubes and the bag, make sure you give it a good old whack because I was trying to do it delicately, but you just need to give it a bit of brute force. It comes with a harness and it also does adjust. So if you press down on this here, the end of the tube moves. If I press this, you see it moves up and down, which is quite good. But I've had it on, my, on the fully extended. The measurement on that is da -da 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 -da. Give or take 127 from front to back. So quite a good reach on it as well. So yeah, that's pretty simple to put together. Pleasantly surprised. So let's go out to the garden and um, see how it works. Cool. So yeah, it's about 28 foot the cable length, just to let you know. So luckily I was already out here doing another video. So henceforth, I've got a good reason to use this. And I'm gonna use it first on the blow, like the blow setting. So this one would be suck, this one would be blow, giggity giggity, and um, when you've got it resting it makes it look like you have a, you know what I mean, but anyway, let's see how strong it is, so I'm going to go here. It's not actually as loud as you think. What is quite a good feature is that it's just an on and off switch. So as you saw, I'll just turn it on and then I can just hold it by that. And it's, it's not particularly heavy. I will weigh it actually to see how heavy it is. It's a little bit too short for me to um, leave it rolling on that. So the blower, set, the blower setting on it works quite well. So let me try the suck setting and we'll see how that is. So let's try again. so worth it because I was using a rake to collect it all and this is so much easier. Let me let you see how much we got in there. So we whip that off. Does it have a zip on it to make it easier to oh yeah it does have a zip on it. So just from those what was that 30 seconds of sucking I mean as you can see we got quite a fair bit in there. Um if you're probably doing a larger area than that you know if you're if you're a pro you're not going to be using this anyway but if it's just for an average size garden that bag size will do adequately and actually puts it all together 
quite well. So yeah, that's really good. I'm really impressed with that. I'm struggling to think of good tests to do with this one. So what I've got on the side is shingle. And what I've done is put some grass on top of it to see if it can pick up the grass and not the shingle. So if it would be leaves, it would be the same thing. So I'm gonna turn the power right down on this, down to one, and let's see how it goes. <laughs> So even if I stick the nozzle right into the shingle, it still can't suck it up. So yeah, that's quite good actually. So you won't damage it if you're trying to get stuff off, off of the um, shingle. In terms of blowing, as we see, it works pretty well. So like, look. And then if you want to suck it up. The main thing when you're sucking it up is to always make sure the bag is done up. Unless you're me and you're silly. Let's try again. just noticed is that the also the um the vacuum you can also adjust as well if you adjust the toggle which i've lost so if you adjust that you can also adjust the um sucking power as well so that adjusts the suck and the blow power so yeah pretty good i'm going to say this because i've seen a couple comments on it on reviews and videos is when you want to take the bag off don't be gentle with it don't be like oh let me try and pull it just grab it and pull it don't mess around with it just do it hard because it likes it hard Giggy, giggy. But yeah, it's pretty decent actually. I was just going to leave it at that, but then I thought, what else could you do with it? Could you use it as a hairdryer? So, my hair is wet and uh, all upright, and I'm going to put my goggles on because safety first, and uh, I'm going to switch it on. Hopefully, there's nothing in there that's going to break my face, but let's turn it on. <laughs> Also, multi-purpose, so you can also use it as a hairdryer. Maybe dry your hair first and then come out in the garden, but nevertheless, you get a two for one. Four for one, four for one, isn't it? Because it blows, it sucks, it mulches, and it dries hair. It's a four for one, that's what it is. So what are my final thoughts on the McAllister sucker and blower and mulcher and hairdryer? No, all jokes aside, the only thing I would look out for, you know, while you're using it, is that this bit can sometimes come loose. And if you see there, there's a small plug on the end. So obviously it has to be plugged in to complete the circuit. So if that is, which a couple of times did happen to me, where it just comes out, oh, where it just went like this, and then it doesn't work. So I was thinking, oh, damn it, I broke it already. So just look out for that if you do get one. But do you need one? For me personally, no, I don't need one. It just makes it a bit easier if I do want to do what I was doing earlier. I've also got like a big tree out front which lets off a lot of leaves. So for that, it's pretty good. So if you do want a leaf blower, I would recommend it. Do you need one? No, you don't need one. But if you want one, I'd recommend it. And that is my conclusion. So that's only a small video, just a little bit of fun. So I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, thanks for watching.